they make it to Mos Eisley. No, you get back to Black Bog. Um, you have very questioning eyes when you and Radovid return. And uh, as you bypass the Sleepy Dragon to go to the Temple of Leda, the, the Shrine of Leda that's there, people will start peering out the windows and the rain starts right as you reach the shrine. Turn around. Hey! I know you all have questions, right? I'm going to go to the tavern in a little bit and have a couple drinks. But before I do that, and I'll tell the story there, do me one favor. If you got them, go hug your kids. And I go into the temple. Um, Brother Bastion's there. Oh. Pull out another. Actually, I pull out one of the gems from the chest. We need healing. Yes, of course. It's, it's a magnificent donation. Yeah. He sets it down on the altar. A magnificent donation for both of us, please. He seems to be in more need. I will get to you in just a moment. Absolutely. And he goes about the business of setting the legs and, and running hands over casting his faith magic onto Delvin, who looks much, much healthier Hey! after a moment. You look less shades of green now. Now, let me see to your wounds. And he takes your face. I think you could use just a good night's sleep. My hit point count says that I might need a little help. But... I'll just take a nice long rest. He gives you eight hit points. Okay. And he goes. Blink. That was eight hit points for the camera. Like I'm cheating off of your paper. <laughs> Get your own hit points. I'm the teacher here. I've got the protection. <laughs> so after you get back uh, the bartender looks at you and is like oh welcome back a little wet outside for you isn't it it is but it kind of washes the smell of hag off of me oh well that's all well and good then what do y'all be having to drink? No, like an actual hag. You guys had a hag living in the, around this town. And it killed her. Not, not lizard man. No, a, a hag. Oh, well that's well and good then. What do you have to drink? It could be a little more enthusiastic. Well, I'm sure you want to tell me about it, but- Mug of ale. I need a mug of ale. <laughs> Now, hit me with a story. I like to share a good story. It started in this very tavern. <gasps> I was sitting here having a drink, celebrating my mighty victory in the fighting pits, when in came Radovan. He sat down looking when somewhere. When you say that, you hear it from, 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 <laughs> On cue. I hear the story from you, bartender. The distressing story about a lost child named Lisa. I could not resist the call. So, I followed him out there. A couple more people come up. Stand up on the stool. Now, I will admit, I am not a typical adventurer. My passion lies in the fighting pits. Testing my skill and strength against other fighters, but 
couple of the fighters come in to hear the story? My parents, both of them adventurers themselves, retired, raised me with the understanding that when you win, share that feeling with others. Little did I know, and they failed to teach me that sometimes winning the day means hearts break in the end too, to prevent other hearts from breaking. So sit down, tip the bartender, and hear a tale about a hag, a hag that was plaguing this village, and we stopped her plot before she could unleash it on the rest of the town. Well, get on with it, you hear a small voice say. A little applause or something to encourage me. So, Ooh. who said that? Me. And when you look over on one of the bar stools is a dragon about half your size, curled up on the bar stool like a cat, sitting like this hold my hand up to the crowd. Why boo? All the build up, just get to the story. Well, that kind of attitude kind of deflates the moment. Heh, <laughs> deflate. I'll get back to you, Newt. Newt? <laughs> so, as I was saying, <coughs> Look at him again. We walked out of this tavern, back to Radaman's home. And there, again, I'm not a ranger. I am not one to track. But the footprints were still there. So we followed them into the swamp. Now we had the hard conversation of, what if Lisa? It's not alive. And then we found a piece of her clothing. So we followed. And as we got deeper into the swamp, <coughs> there pretty was a accurate, actually. tree with a scarecrow hanging from it. Why does a swamp need a scarecrow? That doesn't make sense. I know, I know. It was a guardian. Little did we know that the Scarecrow was a guardian. Yay! As we looked on it, its terrible mouth ripped open at the seam and, ah, and attacked us. With a mighty swing, I destroyed it. Another one! Another one! Radovan mightily swings at that one, while Delvin using his mighty magic, ignites and you hear some destroys laughter this him. one, making it cinder, while Radovan tears this one asunder. But now we're left with the mystery. What were they guarding? Well, Delvin here thinks that the tree is pointing in a direction, so we follow. And there is an old lady hunched and bent abnormally. And as I call for her, creak, 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 like a bag of bones being shaken. She turns and looks at me, her wicked sharp nose, her jutting chin, her skin hanging sickly from her body. Yeah, is her voice like nails on a chalkboard through a rusted pan. But I was raised to respect my elders. So I tried to be polite, not knowing that I was looking at the enemy. You feel a hand on your shoulder. Ah! The uh, dragon that was down there falls off of your shoulder and lands on, back on the bar. Uh. Yes? Pet me while you tell the story. Okay. 
Start petting him. What color is he? Uh, he is a little uh, light brown. Okay. With wings, the works. Pet him. She begins talking to me, telling me that she has seen a girl. She knows of a girl. Well, this is excellent news. I go tell my companions. They follow me. She approaches and we head back to the tree. Per quiet. The tree opens. Oh, I forgot. There were holes all under the tree and a rat came out. A big rat. A huge rat. There's a scream. Right? Ugh. But she knocks on the tree. Something like that. And the tree is open. And at first I thought it was a no, but it was no, no. Unfortunately, before my eyes, unwittingly, I was greeted. It was a dwarf. By a red cap. Crab. Ugly hats dipped in the blood of people. Their wicked, cruel boots designed for destroying your shins. My shins. His shins. <sighs> but not in the moment. As we get down there and we begin speaking, the slow realization of our situation dawns upon me and I realize this is a hag and this is really bad. To make a long story short. Too late. Fair. Lisa unfortunately, turns out, had been a changeling. <gasps> and before us, this hag was actually the changeling of Lisa. Oh. Rather than torn, his emotions flooding him, not knowing what to do, I swung at her. A mighty fight ensued. Poor Delvin at this point, his shins had been bludgeoned by redcaps. We had dealt with them swiftly, a mighty battle that I'll save for another time. Their bodies strewn about. I punched her in the mouth. <laughs> Making fun of my mother. Oh no, that was the redcap. I punched her because of what she said about Lisa. Right. So I punched her in the face. That's what's important. And I kick up my axe and I plant it in her body. She tried to use magic on me and I held myself still waiting for her to attack. But she disappeared. And when she reappeared, she grabbed Delvin and clawed him. <gasps> but when she did that, I took my axe and put it down down across her arms, leaving them mangled and dangling. Then she disappeared again. And I got mad, so you know what I did? I started destroying furniture. With a purpose. Hey, that's like what you said. And as I was destroying the furniture, trying to guess where she was going to show up, I took my ax, hooked it into a table, threw it around and chucked it and it hit the hag, sending her to the floor. Yay! But no one should trust the hag. So I leapt into the air and planted my axe into her head. Ooh. Don't try this at home, I'm a professional. <laughs> Removed oh. my axe. Rather than set her corpse on fire as the green and black Adam then had to come to the realization of what happened as I briefly searched the rooms. And here we are. After we cut the tree down, Radovan did, and I backed up, ran, and knocked it over. 
and then Delvin set it on fire. A glorious mm -hmm. pyre to the gods, stating that we will not allow this evil near this town. I'd like you to make a performance check with advantage. <laughs> 24. How many hit points do you have left? Uh, 73. Because if you take one point of damage per gold piece that flies <laughs> away, uh, you end up collecting like 20 gold pieces worth of various coins. You got silver and everything, but you can just write down 20 gold pieces. Um, but the, the whole room is cheering. Um, not only do you get the 20 gold pieces from that, but you also have your fill of drink for the rest of the night. Oh, uh, hold on. Nobody wants you to get away without them buying you a drink. Hold on. It's important to remember. I swear to my by my tattoo. It's a true story. Which means... You guys need to be careful. You got some evil fairies living near here and that's not good. Like that's, that's bad. Well, to be fair, evil fairies live everywhere. You just don't usually see them. I don't know a lot about fairies. I don't know a lot about them, but I want to learn. You're a dragon. And turn and look at the bar. Uh, the bar is not a dragon. You moved. When you look for him, you see him at the end of the bar, and he's wrapped around an empty tankard, which you realize was one of yours. <laughs> and he's snoring. Oh, he's so cute. And that is where we will leave off this time. As you spend the rest of the night recanting the tale for new people who come in, them buying you drinks, and eventually, with great merriment as the whole town shakes off its gloom, you bathe in sunlight and then you go to bed. Awesome. So, uh, end of game, I, for however many sessions this particular session we did, plays out. Um, I want to remind everyone that if you go to Redbubble, look up Hydral. I do have Liska stickers. I haven't done anything new lately, but if you guys have suggestion on merch you'd like to see, or if merch is even a thing that you want, or t-shirts, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this because I am, I am sorry how long it takes to get these out. It's the editing that takes the longest and I get distracted easily, but I really do enjoy this. So thank you so much for sticking around. Um, if you have any suggestions, let us know. But uh, until next time, I hope you guys uh, try D&D for yourselves. Happy adventuring and you got this.